Ancient of days, the great king that sits on the throne of justice, truth, righteousness, and judgment, his majesty, Awa, was a man of war. The Lord of hosts is his name, the almighty Awa, who we give all glory, honor, praise, and worship to, the heavenly Father Almighty that sits on the throne in heaven. Also, would like to give all glory and honor to his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who is our king, our deliverer, and our savior. And thirdly, I would like to give honors to the Rakakadash, which is the Holy Spirit that gives us all knowledge, wisdom, and truth. I also want to give double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, the apostles and the servants of Yahweh Shai, which is 144 percent truth with all sincerity and diligence, as well as I would like to give salutations to the confusion of faith scattered across the four corners of the earth, as well as the Akim and Akwaf, the men and women that have came to the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, those who believe in the Bible, and those that are seeking his salvation and mercy at the hands of Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, would like to say Shalom. All right, coming back at you with another lesson. All right, and this lesson is going to be a for, for for great edification. All right, and the title of this lesson is "The Men That Were at Peace with Thee Have Deceived Thee." Right? All right, all right. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee, and prevailed against thee. They that eat their bread have laid a wound under thee, and it's going to be worded uh, to that to that understanding all right we're going to repeat it again the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee all right and and you're going to understand the full rim of this lesson once we get into it but i want to leave it as a surprise to keep it entertaining for the akim and akwaf the men and women that are listening and learning and understand that yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right which i'm gonna grab that scripture real quick coming from uh proverbs and how the Most High is orchestrating this World War III, all right, to bring America down. And it's a beautiful mastermind piece of work. And I actually had another lesson uh, prepared uh, right in front of me, but but this lesson, all right, is the is the, is the lesson that the Most High put on my spirit to deliver tonight. This is Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turn it so ever he will. All right. So I have a few video clips. Uh, this might go to about 15 minutes. And then the lesson will proceed after those those lessons, those videos are uh, dropped. And we establish the point before we get in the lesson. All right. So I think this was the 2018 G20 Summit. And I want you all to pay attention to this because it's going to make sense at the end of the video. And you see that dummy Trump walking in the back. All right, Russia and Saudi got them have set up America to bring it down. Watch, watch this right here now, very close. All right, look, they laughing because they know that they bringing America down. All right, we're gonna go back one more time. And I want y'all to see that because it's all gonna make sense. All right, as we get through this lesson. Hold on, let me do that again, because it's just, it's, it's just so marvelous how the most I work. You see that handshake? We got him. Got him. Got him. Well, you know, I've, I've taken a bit more of a a cynical, uh, nuanced view of the dynamic in the oil market right now. And I'm really, frankly, not all that convinced that this is an all-out fistfight between uh, Saudi Arabia and Russia. I think it might be a little bit um, more of a veiled attempt, frankly, by both of them uh, to take a swipe at U.S. E&P while U.S. E&P uh, has been shut out of the capital markets. Uh, and the dance that they're doing right now around this upcoming Thursday meeting, I think is just that. I think it's a dance, uh, and I think it uh, creates the narrative that they want most people to believe, but I'm not sure that it's, that it's quite true. So that implies uh, not much upside from crude from here, if any. I mean, obviously demand is down uh, tremendously and looks like it'll stay that way for a little while. So where does that bring you in terms of a broader uh, kind of investment strategy for the energy sector and, and other parts of the market? You know, I think, look, I, I do, by the way, think on Thursday we get some sort of a um, 
some sort of a deal that just uh, makes it look as if there's cooperation afoot. But, but let's face it, that oil price is this low for US E&P. It doesn't really matter very much because even the Permian producers have break-evens in the low 40s. And so I think, unfortunately, uh, the, the next uh, bit of pain now will come from the defaults that are likely to arise um, especially because now capital markets are, are closed. And, and for that reason, uh, even though obviously valuations in the sector are depressed, I think it's actually time to sort of wait and see uh, relative to, to who the survivors are in the space uh, and then wait to fix spots uh, after, after the damage has been done in full. Are you not convinced, Peter, that, that President Trump can intervene in a bigger way? I mean, he's already said he's spoken to both of them, that they will make a deal. He's met with the energy executives. He's clearly focused on this issue. Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, you look, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't really think that um, he has perhaps as much influence um, as uh, one might think in this situation. Uh, if we remember at a G20 meeting not all that long ago, there's quite a bit of camaraderie between the Saudis and the Russians. The Russians are well positioned to withstand this, I might think, in this situation. Uh, if we remember at a G20 meeting not all that long ago, there's quite a bit of camaraderie between the Saudis and the Russians. The Russians are well positioned to withstand this. Yes, it does hurt them in the short term. Yes, it does hurt the Saudis in the short term. But I think this is a bit of a longer game for them. Uh, than it is for us. And I think their interests, in fact, are quite aligned uh, relative to what it's going to do to U.S. E&P companies, uh, uh, unfortunately. Now, this guy here, this Edomite, he's a little corny, but he's going to give a great analysis of why the oil market is dropping. Now, I want you all to understand this, that a lot of countries have dropped the dollar. All right. A lot of countries have stopped to using the dollar, which hurts the American economy. And you have to understand that the American dollar is a petrodollar. All right. It's a petrodollar. All right. It runs off the purchase of oil globally. All right. And you got to understand that America tried to use this COVID-19 crisis to crash all the economies, but it's going to end up backfiring on them. All right. Because America can't sell no oil, all right? And you're going to understand why in this video. So he's going to give a breakdown, a great breakdown, and then we're going to filter it through the scriptures and give edification to the Akim and Akwa who listen and learn. More than just the coronavirus. It's a story about politics, economics, revenge. And we're going to go from Russia to Saudi Arabia to the United States. So let's turn on your engine and let's understand the 2020 oil crisis march 5th 2020 extremely important date because beside the fact of being my birthday drop a like to say happy birthday it was also the day in which the opec plus meeting was happening which is a conference in which almost all the major oil exporting countries meet to decide the strategy on oil why did I say almost all the major oil exporters? Because there is one very important country who doesn't sit at that table, which is Russia. We will get there later. Since January 2020, the coronavirus outbreak had been plunging the oil demand, lowering the prices. The outcome of the meeting was this. Let's produce less oil, cutting the supply, so to balance the equation, and keep price stable. Simple rules of supply and demand. Great, solution found, everybody happy, only one problem. When Russia was asked to abide this decision and cut its production, Putin said, yet, and Russia kept on producing a lot of oil, driving the price down by almost 30%. Okay, but why doing that? I mean, everybody loses from lower prices, which is true, but this maneuver, it's called meets, which is Russian for revenge. To understand this, let's get back a little bit to August 2017. The sun is shining, it's a wonderful summer, and we are all having the time of our life on the notes of Despacito. Despacito. 
In the meantime, President Trump has signed the CATS, an act to place heavy sanctions on Russia. Why? The official reason was to punish Russia for its interference in the Ukraine politics. I guess you remember the 2016 situation between Russia and Ukraine? Well, the real reason instead was trying to stop or at least to slow down the progress of a gigantic gas pipeline project between Russia, Germany and the rest of the uh, European Union. Name of the project? Nord Stream. Nord Stream, it's a gas pipeline going from Russia to Germany and then to the EU. But it's not a simple pipeline. No, it's the pipeline. We're talking about an infrastructure able to bring enough gas to supply more than a quarter of the total European demand. The project was divided in two phases, Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2. Trump was trying to stop Nord Stream 2. Why? Well, one and Nord Stream 2. Trump was trying to stop Nord Stream 2. Why? Well, because if Europe uses more Russian gas, it will then use much less LNG, which is liquefied natural gas. And the largest LNG supplier for Europe happen to be the United States. But Vladimir Putin doesn't forget. And this March was the perfect time to have his revenge. But now let's understand why lower prices on oil hurt more the United States than Russia. The secret is the production cost. American oil lies very deep in the ground. And to extract a barrel, we need to spend a lot of money, an average of 40 to 45 dollars. Russia, instead, since it has a much easier access to its reservoirs, it can produce the same barrel for 30 to 35 US dollars. So Putin's plan was to drive the price down around 35 dollars, so to cut off the United States. American oil companies wouldn't be able to produce anymore at that price because extracting and producing a barrel costs more than selling it. Great, brilliant Russian revenge plan, but we're forgetting one thing, because when it comes to oil, the undisputed king of this market is Saudi Arabia, which has the highest quality and the lowest production cost. Saudi Arabia, initially, during the OPEC meeting, agreed to cut production, but then, after the Russian attempt to drive the prices down, well, it decided that it was time for the kingdom to flex its muscle and remind the world who is the biggest power when it comes to oil. And so, Saudi Arabia started flooding the market with oil, driving prices even further down to this extremely low $20 per barrel, where almost no one in the world can make a profit. And now what? Nobody likes losing money, especially in hard times like these ones. So eventually, a solution will be found. The only problem is when. And time is particularly crucial for the United States because having the highest production cost means right now having the highest losses. And for every more minute with the oil price so low, well, it means having one more American oil company going bankrupt what and if the oil companies go bankrupt the dollar goes bankrupt and it's and, and, and the whole american economy crashes so they're trying to cover up this bullshit with the coronavirus but underlying is an oil war all right and what 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 do all three world wars have in common oil all right and this is america seeking to get global oil domination, all right, all right, getting the global oil domination by trying to, that's why they're going to try to take the Venezuelan oil. I just did a lesson on that earlier this week of Trump sending ships down to uh, putting a $15 million bounty on Maduro head and going down there with ships to try to take their oil, all right, to control their oil because if they could control the 
the number one oil reserve, then they can, can still compete, all right? But all this is going to backfire on them, all right? And, and, and it's going to bring America's destruction, all right? Because once America go down there messing with Venezuela, all right, and try to go to war with them, Russia is they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna drop nukes on them. All right. Not only that, the EU is tired of America. All right. Their enemies hate them. All right. And they're gonna side with Russia. All right. So let's get back into the video and then we'll get into the lesson. Great time for being in the oil and gas industry, right? Okay. For today it was a lot. So let's do a 30 second recap of everything. The oil crisis is the result of multiple factors. The first one was the coronavirus that cut the global oil demand. But in addition to that, we have a political price war between Russia and Saudi Arabia, who are producing more oil than needed. Russia initiated this war to punish the United States for many sanctions imposed to them, while Saudi Arabia is battling Russia to remind the world who is the real king of oil. This situation is hurting everyone, but in particular, the United States, because they have the highest production cost. A solution will eventually... All right, so we're going to go forward with the lesson, all right? And what y'all need to know that the almighty Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is a master chess player. He's a master chess player, y'all. Y'all got to get crunk, man. What he doing to deliver his people Israel and and take down all our enemies, man? This marvelous work that Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is doing, man, and, and 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 it's marvelous in my eyes because through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, he gave me this lesson, all right, and I'm here to bring it forth to you, all right. This is Obadiah. We're gonna start at Obadiah chapter one and verse seven, all right, and it reads. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. All right. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. And they and they that eat thy bread, what the ones that function their economy, have laid a wound under thee, and there's no understanding in them. Right? Because the most high has destroyed the wise men of teaming. All right. The most high is destroying the wisdom of America. All right, to profit. All right, he's bringing these devils down. All right, let's read this again. It says, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee, right? Saudi Arabia is going to turn on America. And they're in cahoots with Russia to flood the oil market and bring the price of oil down. And the oil is filling up in America. They can't sell no oil because of this COVID-19 thing, all right, which their intentions was to bring forth the chip. And chip Israel, all right, but when this devil is about to fill his belly, all right, his destruction is going to come. All right, when he when the when the RFID microchip becomes mandatory, America's destruction is going to draw nigh because they're going to see, all right, America's full intentions. The most has removed the covering cast, all right. So we're going to go to our next scripture, which comes from Zechariah, all right, Zechariah. Chapter 1 and verse 18. We're going to start at verse 18. Zechariah 1 and 18. It says, Then I lifted up my eyes, and I saw, and behold, four horns. All right, these horns represent power. All right, great nations. All right, then I lifted up my eyes, and I and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me and said, These are the horns which have scattered Jerusalem. Judah, scattered Judah, Israel, and, and Jerusalem. All right, Great Britain, what what uh what France and and Spain, right? And and also America as well. All right. Verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. All right, these carpenters are the BRICS nations. Then I said, What come these to do? And he said, and he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah. So that no man did lift it up his head, but these are come to fray them and to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. All right. All right. So those BRICS nations, all right, which includes Brazil, uh, 
what uh, Brazil, Russia, India, and uh, China, and South Africa. All right, but their ally Saudi Arabia is turning on them. All right, and this is why they were trying to stop Saudi. And this is why they killed uh, General Soleimani because Soleimani, uh, Iran was trying to make a deal with, um, with uh, Iran was trying to make a deal with the Saudis and bring peace. All right, between the Shiites and the Muslims. Well, the reason why Soleimani was killed because America didn't want them to come together. They wanted to keep them divided and fighting against each other. Right? What 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 is the white man's tactic? Esau's tactic. Right? Divide and conquer. Right? Divide and conquer. This is why Soleimani got killed because he was going to merge a deal which Iran has the fourth largest reserves and Saudi has I think number 2 next to uh um uh, next to Venezuela. All right? So with if all these come together against America, America is done. So this is why America has been throwing these monkey wrenches and trying to stop them from coming together. All right. And and all the nations are, are, are angry and tired of America because they see them for what they're trying to do. All right. Let's go to our next scripture, which comes from Isaiah chapter 33. All right. Isaiah the 33, third chapter. In the first verse, it says, Woe to thee that spoilest and thou was not spoiled. And dealest treacherously, and they did not treacherous with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherous with thee. And now they're dealing, now all these countries are dealing treacherously with America. All of them in cahoots are flooding the market with oil, bringing the price of oil all the way down, which is eventually going to bankrupt the oil the oil they're going to run out of business now today through the spirit all right i met a guy who left the oil field and now he's working at another uh establishment all right in the oil field since 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 production has went down the oil field is getting rid of a lot of their workers not only that with this covid19 thing and this close proximity thing all right all right uh, a lot of people ain't got no job all right these oil workers have been laid off all right, and not only that, America is using the COVID nineteen crisis to cover up the the uh, economic collapse of America. All right, this is why they're sending troops in every nation because once America finds out that the dollar has crashed, which the dollar has crashed, the dollar is done. The dollar is finito. This is why they're in a rush to bring forth the mark of the beast chip before they lose, before anybody else can establish a reserve currency. Right? This is why these devils are in a rush to bring forth this new world order. Are they going to lose the order? All right? So this is why America is using the COVID-19 to disguise the crash of the American dollar. All right? And, and, and this deal, this important deal between Russia and China to cut oil production to bring the price of oil up is not going to go through because, the, because they're in cahoots to bring America down. That's why the scripture says the men were at peace with thee have deceived thee, right? And there's no, no, there's no understanding in this dummy Trump, man. Trump is a fucking dummy and is not wise, right? That's why the Most High says, let me, let me grab that real quick. The Spirit just hopped on me to go here. This is Isaiah chapter 47. That's why this word is so beautiful, man. I tell you, the word of Yahweh Shimei Ashai is precious, man. All right, I want to grab a quick scripture. All right, this is Isaiah 47 and 10. It says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None see of me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge have perverted thee. And thou and, and thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none besides me. All right? So your wisdom and knowledge have perverted you. Right? You dummy. Right? You, you doing all these wicked schemes. Man, they got you in their back pocket. These four horns that came out to, to scatter the horns of the uh, 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 of the Gentiles, man. They came to break America, man. And they doing a marvelous job. But this all through the administration and the great chessboard that the Most High has up there moving these pawns to bring this damn place down, man. All right. Let's go now to um, Job. 
right? Job chapter 18. All right, Job chapter 18. And we're going to start at 5. All right, and it reads, Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out. What's the light of the wicked? Their rulership. Them ruling over the whole earth. Right, them shining, that golden city. Right, yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and their spark... And, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, right? It's no more, there's no more no glorious kingdom. The, 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 it, it, it went, when it, when his economy was booming, yeah, that's light. But as America's economy has crashed and the dollar has crashed, it's becoming dark in here, all right? It says the, all right, it says the light shall be dark in his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. The step of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. Because when you're on a high mountain, when you're exalted in pride, when you're on the tip of that mountain, they got all kind of clefts and, 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 val and I mean, all kind of steps, one wrong move at the top, you're going to fall. Right? You move, if you climb Mount Everest, and you get to the top of that mountain, the more rugged it gets. And if, if you're on the top of that mountain, right, you got, it, it ain't no place to stand. What the only place you can do, you can come down. And America has reached its climax. And that's why Yahweh Shah said in Luke chapter 10 and verse 18, uh, 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 well, let me grab that real quick. I'm going to come back to this. All right. This is why Yahweh Shah said this. All right. This is, um, uh, let me grab that Luke. Yeah. Luke, Luke chapter 10 and verse 18 and it says and, and and he said unto them our our king of king and lords of lords i was shine i beheld satan as lightning falling from heaven and that's how america fallen like lightning from he from their heaven man the most High is bringing these devils down the most High is bringing these devils down so fast it's just a beautiful piece of work all right let's go back to job chapter 18 and verse 8 all right job chapter 18 and verse 8 all right, and it reads, For he is cast into a net by his own feet, he walketh upon a snare. Right? All right, let me repeat that again, okay? For he for he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. The snare is laid for him in the ground. And what's that snare? Him trying to go and get control of all, all of the world. Right, so him at that greed, Esau got great greed on him. That snare that is laid for him is in the ground, is that oil, and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, because all these countries are going to turn on America, and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bent, and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin, even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. And who is the king of terrors? <laughs> Yahweh by Shimei shot. All right. And who, who, who Yahweh sending to bring forth this judgment? The great king Yahweh shot. Our, our big brother, the head Judite, coming to bring the noise. He coming to shake the room. He coming to sprinkle many nations. He's coming to take many crowns. Man, come on, man. You got to get amped up, man, for this truth, man. All right, let's go now to uh, Matthew. All right, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 25. Matthew 12 and 25. And it reads, And Yahweh shall knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided it against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall his kingdom stand? So you got the EU against you, right? Because the EU, the, Russia got the Nord Stream 2, Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 pipeline going into Germany. And they're getting cheap uh, gas, right? But America wants to dominate the gas market, the natural gas market with the LNG. Well, well, they don't want your high price as uh, 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 natural gas. They want to get that cheap gas from Russia. And this is going to cause the EU to side with Russia. 
because Russia is looking like the new peacekeeper right now. And America's full of bullshit. The, the trade wars, right? All these, the America finagling, trying to, when it's greed, trying to take all the money, right? And this is going to bring, that greed is going to bring their destruction. All right. Let's go now to Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah 14. And we're going to start at verse 4 through 19. All right. I was trying to make this a short lesson, but hey, this the spirit of power you have about Shimei Asha set up these uh, these precepts, all right, through the spirit of the Most High to bring forth to give understanding. It says, Thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and, and say, How have the oppressor ceased? The golden city cease, right? The light shall be dark in his tabernacle. Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Who did it? Yahweh by Shimei al -Shai. All right? He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. What? Them sanctions. Sanction. Sanction you. I'm a sanction China. I'm a sanction EU. I'm a sanction Russia. I'm a sanction Iran. Right? Right? This devil has made in many enemies trying to stop his fall. All right? He that rule of the nations of anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is as at rest and quiet. They break forth in the singing because they're going to rejoice to be from under the dollar of America. They, they're going to rejoice that they can use their own money to buy oil instead of using the American dollar to buy oil. All right. All right. What what happened when, when Saddam Hussein wanted to turn from the dollar to the euro? They came after him and destroyed him. Right, the euro to the pound. Yes, right. From the, where he wanted to trade his uh, uh, oil, he wanted to, it to be done in pounds. Well, what did America do? Come and destroy him. Where Gaddafi wanted to trade his oil and gold, all right, and back it according to the, uh, and, and he was bringing together all the nations of Africa to back it against the resources of Africa. This would have totally took out America. So what did America do with Barack Obama and and, and Hillary Killer? Hillary Killer Clinton, they came and destroyed Gaddafi and stopped that. All right, let's keep going. All right, let me see where I was at. The spirit just hopped on me, godly. All right, uh, all right, it says the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth in the singing. The fir trees rejoice at thee in the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fellas come against me. Hell from beneath is moved to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth it had raised up from their thrones and the and, and all the kings of the nations. All that is all all they shall speak and say unto thee, has thou become as weak as as we? Art thou become like unto us? Because America was looking like that tall green bay tree. All right, but now that your kingdom is going to be broken down, you're going to be like, well, you did this to us. Now you like we, you like you like us, right? Verse eleven: Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worms is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee, because the worms is covering you because you full of debt, you thirty trillion dollars in debt, and not only that, your infrastructure is falling apart. Verse twelve. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down, dear, the weak of the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the Most High. Right? With your new world order. I will sit also in the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. You thought that you would, your house was going to continue forever and that you were going to keep your global dominance ruling it from America with your great so-called military. Which compared to our military, all right, the angels in Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, Yahweh Shai coming with lightning speed on that father ship to bring your destruction is going to enter into the house of the thief, right? You devils are about to get it. Esau, you are marked for slavery and death. Verse 14, I was, all right, I will ascend into the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. That's talking about your new world order. Yet shall thou be brought down to hell into the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall now look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake his kingdoms, that made a world a wilderness, right, with all your wars, all your 
evil or you're spreading this COVID-19 virus all around the earth, putting up your 5G towers, all the death you done caused, right? All right? Is, is this the man that made the earth to tremble and thou did it shake kingdoms, that made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof and opened not the house of the prisoners, didn't let the most highest people go, right? All the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like a abominable branch and 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 as as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with the sword. With them ICBM missiles, all these nations going to shoot on you, including your own allies, uh, the, the EU, right? They're going to turn on you. That go down to the stones of the pit and as a carcass trotting underfoot, all right? So these devils going to be like carcasses trotting underfoot, all right? Let's go now to our next scripture, which is coming from uh, Ecclesiastes, all right? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, and we're going to start at verse 3, all right, all right? In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders shall cease. Ain't all these grinders ceasing, all the jobs? It's ceasing because America is trying to disguise the, the dollar collapse by the COVID-19 uh, 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 bullshit, all right? Which they have the patent for, who is spearheaded by Bill Gates, which, which, which has created the Peer Bright Institute, all right? In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves, that's your military, and the grinders shall cease because there are few, right? They got few jobs out here right now. You got Americans, you got almost, I think, like 7 to 16 million Americans in the last three weeks have filed for unemployment. That's what the scripture is talking about. And those that look out the windows be darkened because they don't see no more hope in America. These people know that America not coming back from this collapse, all right? And the and the door shall shut be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, right? And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. State by state, every city, everything is shut down, but the fast food restaurants, the stores, right, and and and, and the gas stations, right? All uh, and, and if you uh, 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 and and non essential personnel are at home in their houses on the stand uh, the social distancing bullshit. When you're trying to disguise your fall, because you're ashamed, you got great pride. You you're ashamed at your fall, and you use this COVID nineteen bullshit to disguise the crash of the American dollar. All right, all right, all right. Let's continue. Let me read that again, verse four. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the grinding is low. Right. And he shall rise up in the voice of a bird, because everybody at home, and the daughters of music shall be brought down low. All these entertainers, right? Doing now they 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 ain't getting their bag no more. They tripping out. They flipping out. They can't create. These daughters of music are brought down low. Verse five. Also, when they shall be afraid for that which is on high, that judgment, and fear shall take. All right, and that judgment come from for Yahweh by the counsel of the prophets. And the fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, right? Right? Because you can't maintain this place no more, right? And all desire shall fail. And that's where we at right now in this process. Because a man go up to his long horn, home, home, and the mourners go about the streets. And that's what's going to eventually come. When they find out that this dollar crash it ain't worth shit, you're going to have people mourning out here, kicking in doors, right? You're going to have uh, uh, anarchy. You're going to have civil unrest. And why you think all these stores boarding up their windows? Because they know all hell about to break loose. Or ever the silver card be loosed, or ever the golden bowl broken. Or ever the pitcher is broken at the fountain, or the wheel is broken at the cistern. That means all jobs are going to be brought down. All right? And we're going to end off with this last scripture, which is coming from Isaiah chapter 24. And we're going to start at verse 8. It says, They shall not drink wine with the song. Right? Strong drink shall be bitter to them. Right? This Verse 9. Uh, Slakia. Let me start at 8. Let me start at 8, Slakia. 
The mirth of the tabernacle is ceased. The noise of them that rejoice have ended. You can't go to the club. You can't go shake your nasty ass in the club on them strip clubs. You can't go buy your porn anymore. Right? You you only got enough money for food. You can't buy your weed anymore because food is more important than your weed. All the bullshit, all the evil is shut down by your how about Shimmy Aoshai. Let's get it right. Our Heavenly Father. Right? The mirth of the tabernacle is ceased. The noise of them that rejoice have ended. The joy of the harp has ceased. All this wicked ass music. Verse 8. All these entertainers. Right? Nobody got no money to spend on bullshit and concerts and all that. And movies and all that shit. Right? Verse 9. They shall not drink wine with the... They shall not drink wine with the song. Strong drink shall be bitter unto them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. They, they not telling you that the dollar is collapsed. It's done. They're not telling you this. This is why they want to force that vaccine. And then that vaccine is the mark of the beast chip. Right? How else are they going to mass chip everybody, but not through this way? This is already set up by these evil, wicked puppets. All right? The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. All the store closes. Right? Verse 11, which is the last scripture. There's a cry for wine in the streets for answers of why this is going on. But the prophets are trying to tell you this is the judgment of the Almighty. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. So when these devils try to bring forth their chip, they are for the microchip, and when they come at the people of the Lord, is you're going to bring your destruction. Right? That, I'm going to add one more scripture to this lesson. When you come at the people, all right, let me grab two scriptures real quick. All right, all right, all right. And this going to give you, and this is the spirit. Just hopped on me. I can't stop this lesson. All right. This is uh, Revelations chapter 12 and 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens, ye that dwell in them, war into the heavens of the earth and the sea. For the devils come down upon you, having great wrath, mad that we woke up, because he know if you have a short time. And when the dragon, Esau, saw that he was cast down to the earth, Lucifer falling from heaven, right? He persecuted the woman. This is why they're coming at the people of the Lord, which brought forth the man child, which is Yahweh Shai. All right? And this is why also the Most High said this in Deuteronomy chapter 32. And Deuteronomy chapter 32 all right, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 35. To me belong of vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. Their foot is, it, it slide, it will slid. You safe. You on, you on that little, what they call that little thing you used to run and slide on when we was little. <laughs> safe, you done. All right. It says, to me belong of vengeance and recompense, their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of the calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. All right? So, America's done, man. This place is finished. All right? These devils, you're not coming back, Esau. It's over. And we already got the victory through Yahweh Shai. All right? So I hope that this lesson was edifying. I want to say, call hello, Yahweh, by Shim Yahweh Shai, by Shim Rakakadash. Shala Wong. All right. And I do hope it was truly, truly edifying and great, gave great edification. Shala Wong.